fellow diecasters, welcome to another insane Hot Wheels Customs 101 episode here on Diecast Insanity. We're going to be starting a new custom today. Um, we're going to be taking one of, not this particular one, but one of these Chrysler Specificas and making it into a really true off-road van. This is, a, this is a first edition, of course, of this the Chrysler Specifica. It came out in uh, 2019. Um, very, very cool. I actually like it. A lot of people don't, but I think it's very, very cool. So we're going to take, and I've already stripped it, we're going to take, this was the red one, the second edition of the Specifica, and we're going to take this and turn this into a really cool looking off-road race truck. We're going to be putting some bigger wheels on it. We're going to be taking the wheels off of one of these. I've got a couple more of these um, from the Pixie Sticks uh, Bronco. We're going to be taking these chrome wheels off. We're going to be using some for the back back here, and then we're going to be um, that's what these ones are for and then we're going to take another one of these and just steal the wheels off of it to use on this so very very cool so i've already as you can see the camera down here as you can see i've already stripped it today we're just going to kind of discuss some things that we're going to do and maybe do a little bit of cutting here and there on a couple of things um some some things i want to do is i want to get this out of the back this uh, little um what is basically looks like a power wheels in the back of this thing. I want to get this off. Um, I want to put a radiator back here because that's where the radiator would be in one of these. I'm going to use this. This is from a old, old NASCAR um, diecast model. Not diecast, but plastic model. I want to use the, what this would be the oil cooler, actually. We're going to use it and make it look like probably, probably mount it this way. So we can use these hoses and stuff. We can use these hoses and stuff on it and mount it back this way on this and tilt it up. Probably cut the windows out of the top. Definitely going to cut the front windows off because a, a true off-road truck would not have windows. Probably going to leave the, maybe the back half of the windows on this. Probably from this line from where the back sliding door would be. Probably back. Leave those on. But, and we're going to leave the overhead running lights. Definitely got to have those overhead running lights on there. We're going to have to, on the body, um, we're going to have to make the wheel wells a little bigger. Because of the, the, the wheels on this are going to be um, bigger. And they're going to be closer to the body. So we're going to have to hog these out just a little bit to make these wheels work. Um, if you can see, these are like right, they're going to be right up in there. So we're going to have to make that work. And then we're going to take a set for the back so we can have some real tires in the back of this thing. Like, you know, these plastic ones on it. We're going to cut those off. But we're going to make it look really cool because we're going to use actual real wheels back here. They will fit. We're probably going to have to shave the back of the, the chassis down a little bit um, from what I was seeing to make it work. And then we're going to take some Plastistruck, some Plastistruck rod and whatnot. And we're going to make a roll cage for inside this uh inside the uh, body on this thing so we'll have to get it down to where it's inside the body and fits really nice we're going to take some and go do an angle um, bit and then some up here and everything i think it's going to look really cool with the with that in there and being able to see it and everything it's going to look really sick so very very cool so first thing i want to do today is probably cut these windows and I think we can cut them off and still leave some of the... I'm not sure if we want to cut the top window out. Because we're going to be cutting the side window out on this. And definitely cut the front, we front window out. I'm not sure if we want to cut that top out. So I think we're going to start by just cutting the side windows and maybe the front window off and we'll see where we go from there so let's get that done use our trusty new wheel cutter over here with this one we don't have to worry about the battery going dead Little bit by little bit here. We'll do some 
test fits. As we go along. Take these little little dabs off the end here for the so the tires will be able to get back here. a little bit on the body there too that we're going to need to probably carve out a little bit but they actually already fit in there better now we've got those you can see there's some metal tabs in there that we're going to have to grind out a little bit Debating on whether we need to leave the front window in it or not, not quite sure yet. I know most 
most Baja cars don't have a front window in it. So we're probably going to cut that off. See, got to do, got to do some trimming a little bit on that side. The windows have fallen down just a tad bit here because of there's no support. But we'll we'll glue we'll glue these in after we get the body painted. We'll glue the windows in it so they'll stay up. There we go. We'll just hold it upside down a little bit. So, so far, so good. I think that's going to be cool. Uh, let's change out. I don't think we can do it with this. Uh, it's a little too big. Need something smaller. Cutting wheels just a little too big. a lot cleaner a lot cleaner line across the top on both sides all right so that's it what we're going to do on the windows for now i'm still going to debate on whether we're going to whether we're going to take that wheel out or the windshield out see if we can't get these tires out without might just cut it straight across with the cutting wheel. That might be a better idea. Let's take care of that. And we'll, then we'll look about how to get the that little car out of there.
figure out what that was. Something just fell down. Probably not going to be able to use this. We're probably going to have to build a whole new tire holder for this. But we'll see what we can do in the meantime. Because these are way bigger tires. We might have to... These are going to be way, way wider. Might have to just cut them out. Cut this whole thing off the back and build our own tire rack. Just to make it work. Probably what we're going to have to do. So let's just cut this off and then we'll see if we can't cut the power wheel part off. We need to leave the, we need to leave the wheel holders there. So let's... I think I screwed that up. We need to be on the other side of that. But, we'll make it work.
see what we can do. Gonna have to make some makeshift things, but I think we're gonna get this down. So I want to keep the fenders in the back, at least. There we go. Get some of the excess plastic off. Definitely want to keep those jerry, jerry cans right there. We're probably going to have to super glue the interior back into the onto the chassis once we get it situated. But I think it'll all come into the end. So I think I think we're gonna quit right there on this. And at least we got the gist going and we got it started. And I'll continue to think about what we're gonna do and work on some plans for a tire rack and some other things. So hope you guys have uh, hope you enjoy the video and i uh, hope you guys are having a great week i hope you're staying safe hope you're getting to maybe do a little hunting um even though i'm not going to right now because of trying to get into the store so my wife my wife went to the store earlier to walmart to, to try and get some stuff and she said the line was all the way out the building and around the corner so it's 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 just not worth the the having to put go through all that just to go hot wheel hunting so i'm gonna wait until this cold covid thing's done and over with before we actually um, actually do any more hunting. So just gonna be buying some stuff off of eBay and working on some customs and whatnot and just giving you guys some general information about Hot Wheels. So I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you continue to watch. I hope you uh, are having fun and remember, leave some on the page for your collectors in your area if you're out shopping and if not, just keep having fun, do some customs. Um, go go shopping on eBay and, and pick up cars that you may have missed and just keep on having a good time. So I'm out. I'll catch you guys next week. Uh, we'll have a bi-weekly next week. And um, I need to tape a few um, need to tape a few three for Thursdays for you guys. So I might do that on Monday so we can get some of those up and running and uh, just have a great week. And I'm out. Bye.